guys and thanks for checking out this video in this video i'm going to be trying to catch some bass from the beach using laws in the surf it's something i've not really done before um i've not got a lot of experience doing this so uh today's really my uh, first proper shot at it and uh as you can see in the little clips before it seems like good conditions today i fly fished here before uh, on a couple occasions and picked up a couple of bass around this area so uh i figured this was a good place to start out what I'm going to do now is quickly give you a quick run through of the setup that I'm going to use and some of the laws that I'm going to be chucking at today. So the rod I'm going to be using today are on this session is the uh, HDO Nebula 12 to 42 gram rod. Um, I fitted it with a Pen Battle 3000 and it's loaded with um, 25 pound YGK braid. So it's a nice thin braid and uh, should be good in the surf. So pass the braid then onto the leader. I've just used a uh, FG knot is probably not very tidy. Uh, there's some guys online that do some pretty tidy uh, FG knots, but that's the one I'm going for today. FG knot um, down to a, I believe it's a 20 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader. And then after about two and a half foot of leader, I've just got a uh, Savage Gear law clip there. Nice and easy to undo. Um, and then straight onto the law. So here's some of the laws that I'm going to be chucking out today. Um, these are, well, they're new to me anyway. These are the uh, Savage Gear um, Surf Seekers. Um, I've used the Savage Gear Seekers before, but never the Surf Seekers. And uh, after watching a couple of Savage Gear videos of uh, bass fishing in the surf, I thought these would be uh, ideal for uh, down here on Jersey's West Coast, um, on the beach, which is renowned for surf. So uh, yeah, I thought pop down here and give it a go. The, uh, the other laws that I've got here are the uh, Savage Gear pencils, uh, Sandhill pencils, um, come in various sizes, different colours, so I've just got a few of them. Um, I've used these before and these are pretty good and uh, work well with uh, minimal effort really. So uh, I thought today, quite a little bit of surf, these might hold up in that surf and uh, find a fish. So just in case that the metal laws weren't uh, bringing in the goods today and uh, finding a fish was difficult with the metals. I've got some softies here, um, especially if I'm fishing over some of the reef that I was showing you in the little clips before. Um, whilst I'm fishing over that in the surf, then uh, I'll be switching over to some of these weedless laws. These are the weedless uh, V2 um, Savage Gear sand eels. Come in different colors. I've just gone for white, the lemon back and the uh, sand eel natural pattern. Also, I'm a little bit out of my comfort zone without uh, a top water, so I brought one of them along with me as well. Uh, I doubt I'm going to use that today. Um, I've got the uh, Pachinko 140 there and uh, also a uh, Tackle House um, feed uh, popper uh, 100. So, uh, yeah, some nice, decent disturbance laws there uh, to use in the surf. So uh, I'm just going to get started. I'm going to try out uh, one of the... Uh, Savage Gear um, Surf Seekers first. Now it's quite windy down here today. So um, the rod I've got with me is uh, 42 grams. So I'm probably just going to put on a 35 gram uh, Seeker, which is in the middle of what I've got. I've got 30s there, 35s and 40s. Um, seeing as I've got only the uh, 42 gram Nebula with me today and not my big uh, 56 gram one. Uh, I'll be using the uh, 35s today and uh, some of the uh, larger size, well, medium size um, Savage Gear pencils there, the uh, Sandhill pencils. Hookwise, I wasn't sure whether to chuck on um, singles or, or trebles, so uh, I've gone for singles. Um, some of the guys online were telling me singles are uh, actually a, a great hookup rate on these laws, so uh, yeah, wh why not? So I'm gonna go for the uh, 35 gram Savage Gear Surf Seeker first and see how we get on with that. So like I say, I'm not an expert and uh, not too sure how this is going to go, but we're going to give it a try and uh, see what we can do. I hope you can hear me right with this wind, but uh, the tide's on its way in now. It's like a fairly decent tide, 34 foot. Um, it's about half an hour after the low, so it's starting to come in pretty quick already, and especially with that uh, rolling swell. Water's nice and clear today. Not too sure how well you can see all this with the uh, with the sun beating down on the uh, on the GoPro. There, it's going to be a nice sunset tonight, I think. Hopefully, uh, still be out fishing when that happens. But there's a lot of wind, but it's behind me. Um, I'm just hoping you guys can hear me. 
said on the news it's like a force four and uh, it's more like a force five or six down there so um, yeah hopefully you can hear me and everything's all right ready to rock now with the uh with the uh, surf seeker for the first time i'm really excited because it actually looks really massive to me this looks pretty damn good so yeah just gonna flick some stuff out now and just see how we get on enjoying it's the main thing and fish is a bonus Right, here we go, the white surf seeker. Let's get it out and see uh, how we go. I'm not too sure how far I want to actually wade out because this, uh, this swell's like, look now, it's like nothing. And then all of a sudden, at the rod tip, you'll just get like a bit of a hump of a wave. And I'm only uh, five foot seven, so some of these waves already, like now, they're like overweight sight almost. So yeah, I've just got to be wary. And uh, there's a lot of, um, ditches in the sand here which is obviously why I'm fishing here um, where the uh, the sandbars have moved with the uh, with the swell and stuff like that from the beach so as you can see here there's the wave building there and there's a little bit a little bit less in this middle part here so I'm gonna try here oh, there we go and uh, GoPro's all wet now I'm gonna give it a go here getting pounded by these waves and uh, just see how I get on I might move uh, to my right where there's a bit of reef and stuff and uh, chuck some softies if I don't get any action here but fingers crossed um, we get a fish so I'm just trying uh, like various retrieve speeds I'm just doing a steady uh, straight retrieve just to see how I get on like I say I'm really I'm really new to this so I'm not too sure what to expect and uh, yeah it's really nice though. it's actually something different as opposed to uh, wading out when it's flat calm and flicking out a surface law it feels like you're right in the action trying to earn your pay in a session getting that fish so uh, yeah I've, I've, like three casts in I'm already loving it it seems at the moment that sun's just come out which is which is nice for a change because we've had rubbish weather the last couple of weeks and uh, when it has been nice i've actually been at work i've been on shift so i've missed out massively but this law is really uh really nice to use at the moment i can just feel the rod tip beating away so it's definitely working under that water savage gear have done a really nice video of uh of this law working in the surf actually so um yeah that one's worth checking out if you're if you're like me and you're new to this um yeah for casting wise i know i've got like a strong wind behind me but this thing i'm not even having to ping it i'm just flicking it and it's going absolutely miles so yeah i dare say if, oh i've actually got a fish oh no no no, I actually had sight then. Oh my God. That wasn't a half bad either. Like fourth chuck with that. Just got absolutely smashed and then nothing, but oh man, gutted. I'm absolutely buzzing now and I've lost a fish and that doesn't usually happen with me. This is where I wish I was a little bit taller. I mean, this is like a wall of white water coming towards me in these sets. This is absolutely, oh, this is knocking me back a few feet. I've just missed one a couple of casts ago, but is this too much or are the fish behind this? I need to bring them in. This goes out for quite a way. So uh, I'm not too sure whether I'm fishing in uh, too heavy surf conditions here. This is absolutely buzzing. I'm enjoying this. I'm just gonna wait for these for these sets to uh, to just die down. I've got to watch out though, because this tide's coming in and there are going to be ditches behind me. So I need to be careful that like what starts off at knee deep when I'm a few yards out doesn't turn into waist or chest deep, especially uh, March time now. So that didn't seem too bad. A uh, little bit in the sand there. And, uh, missed a fish on like the fourth, fourth or fifth cast. For a little set that started all of a sudden my rod just bent right over 
and uh, started taking a little bit of line, not too much. I don't think it was a huge fish, but it certainly put a vent in the rod and uh, probably with the drag of the, uh, of the swell as well, um, made it feel a little bit bigger than it was, but I don't know. I'd say that was like a good two pound, two, three pound fish. And uh, that would have been a really good start, to be honest. Even though I didn't land it, not too fast. I'm just glad that I'm, I'm kind of like on the right track, or it seems like I'm on the right track. Now. So uh, part of the learning curve there. So I'm just going to give this Savage Gear V2 uh, Weedless Sand Dealer bash. Uh, this is the smaller one. This is the uh, 15 gram one. Oh. Getting loads of little taps now. That's not even along the bottom. Oh, no, that was the bottom. That wind behind me is definitely helping, especially with this uh, lighter softy. So I'm just going to take advantage of chucking a uh, smaller profile lure out while I can. I swear I'm getting really good hits here. Definitely feels like fish before, like that was, that was quite far out that one as well. Some of these waves are quite powerful. They're breaking literally like at the end of the rod tip. And they're almost taking your knees out from under you. Yeah, like that one. Literally right in front of you. Which is a good thing because I got all the uh the water to fish the uh lure correctly behind the breakers. Oops. So I'm back on the uh Savage Gear Surf Seeker, um, the 35 gram one in a, uh, a pearl colour. Um, I'm just going to be flicking that back into the surf, back down where we first started. Yeah, this will probably be the uh, last shot now before I end this video. So, the last ditch effort to try and catch a bass in the surf. That sun's going down now. Although it's freezing, absolutely freezing with that wind behind me, it's absolutely blissful down here today. What an evening to be out. Just need a fish to finish off this session. Come on bass, come on bass. Where's all these fish? Oh, that's a fish. Yes, that's a fish. Doesn't feel big. Oh no, 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 again, no. Oh no! This is probably the most fun I've had blanking since I've uh, been doing these videos. Oh, there's some fish here then. I'm well more confident now. Oh, there's a good one. Wet face. Wet GoPro again. Oh, it's a bit of a nightmare. Filming in the surf is hard. I thought I was going to get a good sunset, but I think them clouds have got uh, other ideas, but 
it's just setting through the clouds now so probably gonna go a little bit dark after this thanks for checking out this video if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the like button and give the channel a subscribe that would be much appreciated to find the tackle and equipment used in this video head on over to www.mrfishjersey.com be sure to check out the Facebook group Saltwater Law Fishing to keep up to date with the latest law fishing catch reports, new laws on the market and weekly live videos. It's also a great place to pick up those extra hints and tips you might need to enhance your law fishing experience. Once again, thanks for checking out this video. Until the next video, tight lines and see you on the next session.